Under the moonlit sky, two U.S. warships and RAF jets detect and intercept healthy anti-ship missiles in the Red Sea, thwarting their destructive intentions. This covert clash underscores American vigilance during regional turbulence. In the heart of the tumultuous healthy targets occurred 15 to 30 minutes after the larger joint strikes conducted by the U.S. and U.K. forces the previous night. Additionally, American forces unilaterally targeted an anti-ship cruise missile being prepared or launched. Regarding the joint strikes from the previous night, four Royal Air Force Typhoon fighters utilized an unspecified number of 500-pound Class Paveway 4 precision-guided bombs to hit multiple targets at two military sites near Sana'a Airport. During the whispers of geopolitical tension, revelations emerged from the corridors of power. The UK Ministry of Defense, in a statement unveiled yesterday, hints at the significant role Royal Air Force aircraft may have played in the unfolding drama at Sana'a Airport, Yemen's capital. Satellite imagery from Planet Labs paints a vivid picture of the aftermath suggesting that the targets in Sana'a, predominantly softer in nature, fell under the relentless assault of 500-pound Paveway 4 bombs, perfectly suited for such precision attacks. Meanwhile, across the vast expanse of the Red Sea, the mighty USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, a supercarrier of the U.S. Navy, unleashes its arsenal with surgical precision. From undisclosed locations in Yemen, Precision-guided munitions rained down, courtesy of the formidable aircraft prowling the skies. The USS Philippine Sea, flanked by the USS Gravely and USS Mason, unleashes the formidable Tomahawk land attack cruise missiles, a testament to the unmatched firepower of the American naval fleet. In the heart of the action, an F-A-18F Super Hornet, Armed to the teeth with a 2,000-pound GB-31 Joint Direct Attack Munition and a BLU-109B Bunker Buster Bomb, descends upon the chaos, 
a harbinger of destruction to those who dare challenge its might. Alongside it, an EA-18G Growler lurks in the shadows. Its AGM-88 radar disrupting anti-radiation missiles poised for action, whether in electronic warfare or suppression roles. High above the fray, the E-2 Hawkeye keeps a watchful eye, its airborne early warning and control capabilities ensuring no threat goes unnoticed. Yet, during the thunder of war, questions linger like shadows in the night. General Pat Ryder, the voice of reason from the Pentagon, offers reassurance amidst the chaos, proclaiming positive results in the ongoing campaign against the Houthi rebels. Since January 11th, the relentless onslaught has seen over 25 missile launches and deployment facilities raised to the ground, alongside the destruction of more than 20 deadly missiles. Yet, the specter of the Houthi arsenal looms large a reminder of the perilous game being played in the strategic waters of the Red Sea. While their attacks have yet to claim lives or vessels, the threat they pose to international transportation cannot be ignored. Meanwhile, U.S. officials have sought China's assistance in curbing the actions of the pro-Iranian Houthi rebels, who've been targeting commercial vessels in the Red Sea. Despite repeated efforts, cooperation from Beijing has been limited. Over the past three months, Senior U.S. officials have raised concerns with their Chinese counterparts. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and Deputy John Finer addressed the issue with Leo Jika, chairman of the Chinese Communist Party's International Liaison Department, during a recent meeting in Washington. Additionally, U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken discussed the matter with his Chinese counterpart. However, there is little indication that China is exerting pressure on Iran to restrain the Houthi rebels, apart from a minor remark made last week. Meanwhile, Western officials and experts warn that Iran continues to supply increasingly advanced weaponry to the Houthi insurgents in Yemen, bolstering their ability to disrupt global trade. Despite ongoing U.S.-led airstrikes, the Houthis have emerged as one of Iran's most formidable proxies. Iran has provided the Houthis with drone jammers, long-range rocket and missile counterparts, and other sophisticated technology. Iranian and Hezbollah consultants have also been deployed to Yemen to evade the Houthis in their operations. The Houthis, once regarded as a local militia, have now become a significant threat to maritime security, launching missile and drone attacks on merchant ships and U.S. Navy vessels. They claim these actions are retaliation for Israel's military actions against Hamas, sparking heightened tensions in the region. During British counterattacks, there loomed the ominous specter of Washington being dragged into a prolonged tit-for-tat military confrontation, escalating the proxy conflict between the U.S. and Iran. While U.S. strikes aimed to exert pressure on the Houthis, Western officials observed signs of the rebels' military adaptability foreseeing advancements in technology that could enhance their effectiveness in targeting ships and Israeli territories. Reports suggested coordination between Iran and smugglers to transport weapons to Yemen, facilitated by middlemen acquiring spare parts through front companies. Security experts and officials highlighted the role of engineers in Yemen and neighboring countries in assembling and operating missiles and drones with maritime workers providing real-time intelligence for targeting ships. Iran's support for the Houthis reportedly involves some of the Revolutionary Guard's most elite officers, led by Abdul Raza Shalai, who previously orchestrated attacks against U.S. forces in Iraq, and is now a fugitive wanted by Washington with a $15 million bounty on his head. In response, the United States and its allies conducted airstrikes on missile launch sites and weapons depots in Yemen, aiming to deplete the Houthi arsenal. Additionally, they intensified patrols and waterways to intercept armed shipments destined for the rebels. Thank you for tuning in to our channel. We strive day and night to deliver the swiftest and most credible news updates. To stay informed about the latest developments and special reports on conflicts worldwide, subscribe to our channel like our videos, and click the super thanks button below. Until next time, stay informed and stay safe.